maybe you have uninstalled adobe premiere pro and again you have installed the program right or maybe you have updated adobe premiere pro and when you go to here on the keyboard shortcut section then maybe you are not getting the keyboard layout that you have made earlier you have to make the keyboard layout again that is a hassle right so today i'm going to show you how you can back up your keyboard layout so that you can use it again and again maybe when you update your adobe premiere pro if you don't see it here you can restore that keyboard layout or if you're using adobe premiere pro on a separate computer then you can use that file to restore your keyboard shortcut layout right so without wasting any more time let's see how you can do that so first you need to memorize the name of the keyboard layout that you want to save for me the layout is jp layout right so i want to make a backup of this layout so that i can use it again and again i have to go here on my file explorer if you're using mac you can also use your file browser now you have to go to your local drive for windows the drive is c right this is a c drive now you have to search for that name for me the name is jp layout so i'm just searching jp layout and then i'm pressing enter now windows will search for that file and it will locate where the file is being saved right so we have to wait for a while yeah got it here is the file right right click here then click on open file location then this folder will open this is the folder where all of the keyboard layout is being saved right this is my jp layout this is my favorite shortcut so you have to copy these files for me i'll just copy this one i will just actually cut this one so that you can know what is happening right i'll just cut it and then i'll paste it maybe on the desktop so here i'm just pasting it now the jp layout keyboard shortcut is not here on this folder right so if you refresh adobe premiere pro maybe i'm selecting adobe premiere pro default keyboard layout then pressing ok if i go edit and again if i go keyboard shortcut and here you'll see the jp layout is not visible right because we have removed that file so you have to save those file in a separate folder so that you can use it whenever you want right so i will just copy that file again and then i will paste it here on this folder now if i refresh it you see jp layout is visible i can use that keyboard layout again right so you can save your keyboard layout on a separate folder so that's it that is how you can make a backup of your keyboard shortcut layout so that you can use it again and again if it is mistakenly deleted right so that is all for today i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up and if you need this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye